What's up guys, John's Moto Garage. I'm John. As always, gracias for tuning in and checking out the channel. If you dig the content, be sure to like and subscribe. So today, I wanna to do some more knee dragging. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get hooked on knee dragging. I'll still continue to do other stuff on the channel. I had a blast giving that a shot yesterday on the Yamaha Bolt. So check out that video if you didn't watch it. Got a, a few other bikes. We got the 2015 CBR 600 RR. That probably would have been a good bike to try it on to begin with. I also want to give it a shot on the Honda Grom. This is a 2017. I was challenged by Bows, Micklin Coke to try it on the Grom. So we're going to give that a shot as well. And I don't know, we'll see. Maybe even on the Raider. I was thinking about it on the Harley Fat Bob. The problem is. Those bikes have forward controls. So Fast Eddie says he can do it on any cruiser. I've noticed those bikes, like the Bolt for example, has the mid controls as opposed to forward controls. I don't doubt Fast Eddie, I'm sure he could pull it off. I don't know, I'm curious to see on a Yamaha Raider though, with the forward controls. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll give it a shot.
All right, one super important lesson, you need to know when to just call it quits. And honestly, I probably should have stopped on this bike like 15 minutes ago. I need a much bigger area. I don't need like cars and all kinds of crazy stuff around when I'm trying this. So technically I dragged a knee on the bike, but did not feel controlled, did not feel anything like how I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna call it a day for that one on the CBR and good lesson to be learned. Don't push your limits. All right, you guys, just as a bonus, we're gonna give it a shot on the Yamaha Raider. Whoa, careful, dude. Too dangerous, bud. thought occurred to me that the bikes even though they're cruisers they have mid controls like the Bolt C50 and the uh, Harley Sportster Iron 883 I'm very curious to see can you do a knee drag on a bike like this with forward controls or like a Harley Davidson street glide if anybody can do it it would be fast Eddie I doubt you're gonna watch this but if you happen to maybe here's a challenge man see if you can get your hands on one of these guys or something like it and I would love to see a knee drag on that Thanks for watching. We couldn't pull it off on the Raider, but we gave it a shot. John's Moto Garage, we'll hit you guys up on the next one. Adios. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in as always. If you dig the content, like and subscribe. Today we successfully pulled a knee drag on the on the Honda Grom. That one I would call good and I got my right side down, which I hadn't done before. Unsuccessful on this guy here. And I'd say we were like half success on the CBR. Reason being is that thing was sketch. And like I said, you know you gotta know when to call it quits. The second you start feeling all confident and like, oh cool, I got this thing dialed, that's when things go to crap. And that thing, yeah, that's when you're guaranteed to uh, to get destroyed, as I almost did. So we're getting some good wear. Another word to the wise: probably get some like actual knee sliding pads. Might not be a bad idea. I would love to see if somebody can do it on a Yamaha Raider. So here is a uh, challenge out to the world for a world's first Yamaha Raider knee slide. I think it'd be dope. And I'm sure somebody could pull it off. Uh, maybe next time we'll try on the Yamaha or Harley Fat Bob, but I doubt it. It's been a blast. We'll get back to the normal John's uh, Moto Garage stuff here soon. In fact, I finally got the key for this Yamaha. So we will dig into that, see if we can get a new battery put in it and try to get that Yamaha up and running. And I have some other bikes I've been looking at. I looked at a bike the other day. It was a Harley Sportster. I'll throw that video up at some point just so you can see what the deal is. And at some point I'll get the Honda Grom clutch replacement video up as well. All right, you guys, we'll hit you on the next one. Nos vemos. I'm gonna jump through this space-time continuum. continuum. 
again and we will jump over to the wheelie spot we'll catch you there hold on you guys the space kind of continuum got stuck here i want to try this if you remember on the harley sportster we did this this thing has better clearance than the sporty yeah, you can actually catch some air on this thing so when i was on my bike back in the day we would hit it from here kind of like a hip so you'd hit it way out this way and then that way you land going into it we'll do one more real quick and then we'll get out of here All right, let's get out of here. All right, now to the space-time continuum. I think there's one right over here. We'll try it. Works like a charm. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's something to be said. I've basically maxed out this wheelie spot. So that's some progression right there for sure. And you gotta, you gotta acknowledge those. <sighs> Which sucks, because now I need a new wheelie spot. <sighs> 